Welcome to our scientific journey into one of basketball's pinnacle achievements, the dunk. In this video, we're diving deep into the numbers, physics, and biomechanics required to dunk on an NBA standard 10-foot hoop. If you've ever wondered about the precise calculations that enable athletes to soar, stay tuned. The dunking equation, vertical leap requirements. To dunk, one must elevate enough to not just reach, but also effectively push the basketball over a 10-foot rim. Accounting for the average arm length of an adult male, about 25 inches, a player's vertical leap must lift their standing reach by an additional six to 10 inches to perform a dunk. For a six foot tall individual with a standing reach of eight feet, this means achieving a vertical leap of at least 34 to 38 inches. Analyzing jump mechanics, force and acceleration. Jumping is governed by Newton's laws of motion. The force applied to the ground must overcome gravitational pull. Assuming an average male athlete weighing 75 kilograms, 165 pounds, the force required to achieve a 34 inch vertical jump is approximately 2,940 Newtons based on the equation F equals sine MA, where M is mass and A is acceleration. This force corresponds to nearly four times the athlete's body weight. Velocity and takeoff, the critical variables. The initial velocity needed for takeoff to reach a 34 inch vertical leap is roughly 3.1 meters per second, derived from the kinematic equation V squared equals sine U squared plus two as where V is final velocity, U is initial velocity and S is displacement. Achieving this speed in the split second of takeoff requires both explosive muscular strength and precise biomechanical technique. Training for height, a scientific approach. Enhancing vertical leap involves targeted training to increase both the force exerted against the ground and the efficiency of the takeoff motion. Strength training components focus on maximizing muscle force through exercises like squats and deadlifts, aiming for a power output increase of 20-30% over a training period. Plyometrics, including depth jumps and sprinting, improve neuromuscular efficiency, potentially enhancing jump height by 5-10% with consistent training over 6-12 months. Comparative analysis, athlete variability. Consider the variance in required jump heights across athletes of different statures. Spud Webb at 5'7 needed a vertical leap exceeding 42 inches to dunk, a feat he achieved through extraordinary training and genetic predisposition. In contrast, a player standing seven feet tall with a standing reach of 9.5 feet may only need a six inch vertical leap to dunk highlighting the significant impact of physical attributes on the required performance metrics. The physics of takeoff, angle and distance. Optimal dunking also involves the correct takeoff angle, ideally between 45 to 55 degrees to maximize vertical and horizontal displacement. The distance covered during the takeoff phase directly impacts the achievable height with longer approach distances, allowing for greater acceleration and consequently a higher leap. Analysis of elite dunkers shows an average approach speed of five, six miles per second, translating to significant horizontal momentum converted into vertical lift. Conclusion and reflection. We've dissected the dunk from a scientific perspective, uncovering the exacting standards of force, velocity, and technique required to conquer the 10 foot barrier. The journey to dunking is a testament to the remarkable capabilities of the human body when physics, physiology, and dedication intersect. Now, we invite you to reflect. Which aspect of the dunking science fascinates you the most? Do you see the blend of strength, speed, and strategy differently now? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments below, and let's continue to marvel at the science behind the sport. Thank you for embarking on this scientific exploration with us. Remember, the quest for knowledge is just like the pursuit of a higher vertical leap, always aiming for new heights, 